So here's the story. This bathroom that I'm standing in is in one of my rental homes. This bathroom is over a hundred years old. It gets hot in the summer, it gets cold in the winter, and there was blown in insulation in these walls. There were pockets that weren't filled in with the blown in insulation. So I decided to just tear out all of that and put in brand new Roxel insulation. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install Roxel insulation and share with you why I love it so much. I actually put this in my own personal bathroom when we redid that a few years ago. And today, this bathroom is still not square, it's not plumb, it's not level. There are all these weird angles in it. So it makes Roxel a really great choice, actually my number one choice, for the insulation here. So I've also got a surprise for you in the end. We're gonna do a surprise giveaway I think that you're really gonna like. Let's dive into today's tutorial right now. When you install insulation, make sure you stay safe no matter what it is. So goggles, glasses, respirator, Utility knife, well this is actually, this is utility knife. This is a drywall knife I'm gonna to use to cut the rock hole. And then obviously gloves, long sleeve shirts so you don't get any of the fibers in your skin. Stay safe. So I'm gonna be using Roxel Comfort Bat. You can use this for exterior walls, basements, or crawl spaces. Obviously today we're using it for an exterior wall. This is R15 rated, should be used for 16 inch on center walls. So this one bag covers 59.7 square feet, you get 12 bats. What I like best about Roxel is the fact that it's fire resistant and water repellent because it's made from stone. So here's the deal, in that bathroom, we're gonna be using Schluter Curdy Board. That is a great waterproofing material, but there's still gonna be some water vapor that gets through. And because Roxel is water repellent, it makes me feel better about using this versus something else like fiberglass insulation in the bathtub surround. So I lucked out in this old house because the joist, well, the framing is 16 inches on center. So we got 15 and a half inch, 15 and a half inches in between the framing, which means the rocks will, ouch, as I put my finger in one of the nails, holding the roof up, the rocks will fit in here perfectly, but you can cut it down using a drywall knife or a utility knife. And we're gonna start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. From the bottom of this piece of Roxel to this piece of framing right here is about 31 and a half inches. I'm gonna notch out the Roxel so that it can go the whole way down to the floor. There's a little bit of a gap here. I can fit my fingers in this. You don't want that. You want this to be nice and tight to the adjacent piece of rock sole. However, when it comes to butting up against the joist, you pretty much want the rock sole to be flush with the joist. You don't want it to be pushed in or butting out a little bit. Um, so you just want it to be nice and flush with the joist or the stud, <laughs> with the stud wall, whichever. All right, I have a little bit of a weird situation here. This bay, is 10 and a quarter inches wide. So we're just gonna cut down the rock sole to fit into here. You can also use a T-square to help you guide the cut. But as you can see, rock sole is super, super easy to, to cut into pieces. One of my favorite things about rock sole is how easy it is to cut and fill in weird wonky spaces, which you'll see here in a second. But this wall probably took me about, I don't know, 45 minutes to fill in just because it's so simple to cut rock sole and push it into place. If you have any electrical lines or pipes, you can slice the rock sole and fish the electrical line or the pipe into the material. And I show you how to do this in a, a separate video, which you can watch right here. If you're working in a bathroom, you're gonna have to work around the main stack, which is exactly what I was doing here. I had to cut out a little brick of the rock sole and squeeze it in here into the wall. And then I just used that brick or that extra piece and shoved it behind the blocking, which is great. This is what you get when you work with a 100-year-old house. A nice cheese slice. No problem. Roxel makes it super easy to insulate around the window, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Remember how I said Roxel is fire resistant? I wanted to conduct my own test using my torch, and I was pretty unsuccessful at lighting it on fire, which is good. Don't try this at home, though. Okay, so there you go. That is how you install Roxel insulation in walls. I hope that you liked today's video. Now for the surprise. Oh, actually, 
one other thing before I go into the surprise giveaway. I want to thank Roxel for sponsoring today's video and sponsoring Home Repair Tutor. That's what allows me to do the giveaway for you. So thank you so much, Roxel. Now, for the surprise giveaway, it is an insulation safety kit. So what is in the insula insulation safety kit? Well, I'm going to be giving away one respirator like this. It's a 3M respirator. A pair of EXO gloves by Ironclad. Some safety goggles. And how do you enter into the giveaway? Well, down in the comments, tell me what you think about Roxel and why you need the insulation safety kit. It's really that simple. So down in the comments, tell me that. And also, if you are redoing your bathroom, if you're doing a DIY bathroom remodel and you want a professional look, but you're doing it yourself, I think that you'd really like bathroomrepairtutor.com. So that's it for today. I'll see you down in the comments. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.